In the next couple of videos, we're going to install Microsoft Visual Studio Code for Windows 10 for use with C, C++ and Fortran. There are two ways which we're going to discuss. The second is the Windows subsystem for Linux. If you have already installed that system and would like to use it, and in particular would like to have your files on the Linux site, then this is the way to go. We're going to first discuss the MSYS2. The MSYS2 system can be found on msys2.org. Click on the link and click on download the installer. MSYS2 is a collection of tools and libraries that provides us with an easy to use build system. So it includes the compilers GCC, G++, GFortran, but also build utilities like Make. It also includes stuff like Git, Unzip, CSH, LaPack, Python, and many, many more packages. Open the installer. Next, the default directory is fine. Click on Next. And it will now install the MSYS2 base system. It is now installed, finish, and it will open the terminal with the MSYS2 system. We can increase the font size a little bit to make it more readable. And also change the cursor type to block. We're going to follow exactly the instructions as listed on the web page. The first thing to do would be to use the package manager Pacman to update the system itself. It is now completed. We can choose yes, confirm to proceed. It will close the window and we have to open it again via the start menu. The next step is to update all the packages. It has now updated the system and all the packages that were already installed. On top of that, we can install our own packages. We would like to install the base development system, all the dependencies, and also the tool chain. We can select the default, all, all, and proceed with installation. The base development system is now installed and we went through all the steps that were listed on the MSYS2.org website. On top of this default system, we would like some additional packages. Python is already installed, but we would like to also install PIP3 and the setup tools. Now that we have pip installed, we can install the Fortran language server. There are a few more packages that we uh, could install. 
they're not really needed. They're very useful to have. One of them is, for example, Laypack. And we can also install Git, Unzip, CSH, and Vim. We have now installed all the necessary software. In the next video, we're going to modify the prompt and the shell. And in the video after that, we're going to install and configure Visual Studio Code to make use of the MSIS2 system.